All right, guys, welcome back. So the final type of list is the definition list. And whenever you want to specify like an index or a glossary or any name value pair, you can use definition lists. Now, the definition list tag is kind of different from the unordered list and the ordered list tag. The definition list is going to start with DL now, instead of using li to list an item, we use a dt tag to specify the term. So let's say HTML. And then we use a dd tag to specify the definition. So let's say hypertext markup language. And let's create another term. Let's say dt and this time CSS and dd. And we can have cascading style sheets, which we are going to be learning very, very soon. Okay, so if I save this and let me just replace matrix trilogy with, let's say, glossary, why not? And reload it, so it's glossary, and then we have the term, which is HTML, and the DD which is it's which is kind of a description of this term so CSS and its description so what definition list does is kind of give you like a dictionary where you have a word and its description now one final thing about lists is that it is possible to nest one list inside another so here's what I mean by that Let's say we have an unordered list, so ul tag, which we've already learned. Now let's have an item, so list item, let's say HTML. Now under this, we, within the unordered list, it is possible to specify an ordered list. So let's have an ordered list, and this time the ordered list is going to have a list item tag which is hyper and then another one which says hyper text and then another item which says markup and finally hyper text markup language now, once again we close the ord ordered list and we can have another item which is of the unordered list <coughs> excuse me and then we can have something like let's say CSS now under this we can have another order list and we can have a uh, item that says cascading one more item style one more item cascading style sheets so if we have if you are going to save this and then refresh it so here's what we get the output so if you go back to our code we say that in the unordered list we have HTML and CSS as our items so we have HTML and CSS now underneath HTML we have an ordered list of hypertext markup language so with one two three four an ordered list is going to be displayed with hypertext markup language and similarly for cascading style sheets. Now it is possible to nest any level of lists and you can have an ordered list inside an unordered list or an unordered list inside an ordered list and all sorts of permutations. Anyway, I hope you have a good understanding of what lists are and how to use them. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.